a grown up. <laughs> I have letters after my name. And I've done a lot of films. I, I guess I'm going to talk a little bit later, but I just want to say for everybody here, I hope you realize what an accomplishment uh, Mary has, has made here. I, I am absolutely stunned by, by the amount of work and the level of work that she's accomplished. Uh, it's one thing for her to say that she was inspired by something that I did, but if I had a fraction of her drive and focus and talent that she has at 17, uh, there's no telling. I, I might be I might be famous today. So, <laughs> so she has a, she has quite a future ahead of her, and her parents I know are very proud of her, and uh, I'm very excited to see. Uh, how she transforms Hollywood in the years ahead. So give her another round. Uh, about why I'm here and why we're all here and why why this matters what what Mary Beth is doing and has done why this is important so uh, about 9 80 years ago 80 years ago a Catholic priest and a layman got together and they wrote a code a code of morality and this this code was adopted by by Hollywood and so it was written by Catholics representing the Catholic morality of what was good and acceptable in our you know in art it was adopted by largely Jewish filmmakers in Hollywood and it produced films that were consumed by a largely Protestant American audience. So that code, called the Hayes Code, it governed the production of Hollywood films for 60 years. 
through a period that we now call the golden age of Hollywood. Okay? So I, it's important for you to know, you all know, number one, that, that, that the Catholic Church teaches the truth revealed by God himself. So it's a good th and natural thing for us to share that with the world. And how there's not much more important than in the art and the movies, the films, the books, the radio programs, all the entertainment that we receive represents part of our culture. It's important and necessary for the church to continue to do her job in, in informing the culture. And yet this code was, as you know, thrown away in the 1960s. And what have we seen since then? Hollywood is sick. You know, even films designed for children have many elements that we all know are completely unacceptable. Whether it's thematic things or language or situations. So Mary is right that Hollywood is in need of Catholic morality. And at 17 years old, she she has received a mission. Did God actually speak to you? Okay. All right. She's got this mission uh, to do this really, really noble work. And I think it's great that all of you have supported her so far and her family. I encourage you to continue to do that. And we can only hope and pray that there will be thousands more of Mary Beths uh, that rise up and want to make beautiful, truthful film that reflects the truth of the human person and brings people to know our Lord and gets them closer to heaven. Right? So once again, please give her a hand. I <laughs>